Welcome. In this video, we're going to do a solo playthrough of Massive Darkness 2 Hellscape going into the Highway to Hellscape. It's down at the table. I already have her map mostly put together, and we've got her two heroes here. So I'm playing as Geta the Berserker and Phaedra the Rogue. We'll go over our map and quests set up first. So I've got most of our maps set up there. We do need to spawn some mobs in those two areas. Um, since we're playing with just two characters, we do not get uh, portals in that spot, so just the one portal. So our story so far, uh, the proliferation of portals around Krondor suggests some sort of horrific sacrifice has been made. Nothing we can do about that, but we might as well take advantage of the situation. Something around here could lead to the Infernal Realm. We can take the battle to them this time, mad as it may seem. So our quest objectives are to open the gate by pressing both switches those two switches are here. And then enter hell, escape through the altar, and there's the altar. The special rules, the gate, uh, the door with the white outline, which is going to be this one, as shown here. Um, it allows creatures from the darkness to pass. Enemies can freely move through this door. Unfortunately for the light bringers, it can't be opened by conventional means. In order to open the gate, heroes must activate both switches. The gate blocks line of sight. To open the gate, switches are represented by the color side up objective tokens. Any hero standing in zone with one of these may spend a movement point to interact with the token and remove it from the dungeon. The hero who does this also gains 3 XP. The Inferno reveals as soon as both of those up color side up tokens are removed, the gate opens, flip the door token indicated with a white outline, and reveal chamber as usual. Then enter hell, any hero in the altar zone. May spend a movement point to exit the dungeon. Once we do that, we have one in victory. So our special tokens or terrain on the board, we have a spike pit here. Um, we've got some treasure, small treasure tokens. We've got a forge where we can spend, basically discard three cards that we have. And whatever the lowest tier of that card is, we can draw one from the next higher tier. Have a pillar which if we do range attacks into or through that, we're going to be minus one yellow die. And I think that's the boards. So we've got two bridges there. So we'll go ahead and get our two mobs. So first up front, we are going to have some skeletons, two health each, blue die and a defense ability. Then over here, some undead, four health each, no defense and a attack ability. Then for our items for those, our skeletons. Have a Staff of Darkness. And our Undead have a Primeval Club. All right, skeletons. Undead. So that is our board set up. So for our heroes, starting here, we have two mana, seven health. Our ability is attack, take a wound, and deal wound to the defender. Shadow ability, if we get the shadow die, gain three rage and heal ourselves three. Um, got the health potion for both of our heroes. We're using the crude axe, gives us an orange die. Of course, we both have some armor, giving us a blue. For his dashboard for the Berserker, basically whenever we take damage, we're going to put that here, which creates rage. We can have seven there. Uh, this is going to mark our active stance. And so we can spend our rage to change our stance. If we're in blood rage, attack, spend a rage to reroll a die. Reckless, spend one to get an additional movement point. And for defense, spend one to deal wound to the attacker. I'm starting with provoke as our active stance because of my first skill I'm getting. It tells us put on a provoke, defense, spin a rage after combat. If you took at least one wound, deal two wounds. Then for a rogue, I've got three mana, five health. Combat, spin a mana to reroll a die. Shadow is draw a rogue token, which we'll go over here in a sec. Going with the short bow. And our abilities. Went with a deadly mixture. So when you gain this skill, gain two poison tokens. Poison enemies start or take two wounds at the start of their activation. So more on the poison. When performing an attack action with a poison token, place it next to the defending enemy till it is killed. 
When killed, return the token to the bag. Enemies with a poison token are poison. An enemy can only have one poison token. So basically, when our turn starts, we're going to draw tokens equal to our activation. And if we take an action that corresponds to these, we'll get the bonus. If we take a move action with this, we get plus one movement point. If we take an attack action with this, we get nothing for it. Um, attacking with this gives us an additional yellow die to roll. This one we attack with, we roll two dice. This allows us to move up to two, then attack, and here's our two poisoned. So we'll take all these and put them in our rogue bag. And then finishing our setup for our skeletons, they are going to get common and undead gets common. So our basic turn structure for the ground, hero phase goes first, we get our three actions, which we can move, attack, trade and equip, recover, or special actions. Enemy phase, level up phase, and then darkness phase. All right, so for our first turn, we're gonna have our rogue go. So grab our rogue tokens, three of those. All those have to deal with attacking. So we're gonna spin this one as movement. So movement point one, movement point two to open the door. And then our door event. Courage or chamber. The active hero may keep this card until the end of the quest and discard it when attacking to gain plus two yellow dice. All right, we'll hold on to that. Uh, getting another treasure token here and a mob. Treasure is common. And the mob are fire entities, three health each, defense, one blue defense die and a combat ability. Just sit that there since I'm low on space. And they are armed with some stone knuckles. And more common treasure. All right, we'll move those in there. Then we're going to move up to two spaces, then attack. So one, two gets us into darkness. So when we attack, we're getting one yellow for that. We're in darkness, so we get the purple. That's our offense. For the defense, they get a blue die. And there's two minions in there. So two black. And do I want to use, yeah, we won't use the courage just yet. Probably should have. All right, they got two defense, we got two attacks. They're doing two damage to us and combat. Add a fire token to the attacking or defending hero. That did not go well at all. We're gonna spend a mana to re-roll a die. And it's going to be this one. And nothing changed. All right, we're taking two damage and we get a fire token. All right, next activation. We're gonna try attacking again. Same dice pool. We will spin this to get two more yellow dice. Or we could heal to get rid of the fire token and get a health back. Now we're gonna poison them. That's terrible. These dice are better. We're gonna spin a mana to re-roll this one again. And we're gonna take a damage and get a fire token. We get to draw a rogue token. So this is gonna get us another activation. Got a defense, which takes care of that. We're gonna get two mana back from those. And do two damage. And 
and they are poisoned. All right, I'm going to take a recover action with that. And just looking at the errata, recover action and fountains can remove fire tokens equal to the amount of health the hero gains by the recover action or by the fountain interaction. So we're going to recover two health, which will remove the two fire tokens. And that's going to end our rogue's turn. So these will stay in the discard pile till we go through the whole bag. Now for our Berserker getting three actions. First action is movement. Second action, we're going to take a look in this. So basically on the painted ones, um, on the inside, if they're blue, means we get two rare treasures. If I didn't paint the inside, that means we get two common. So we will go ahead and shuffle this up. All right, found a skull shield, one-handed defense, ignore, and a crusader shield. And we've got a two-handed weapon. That's convenient. All right, we'll just put those in our inventory, so we've got nothing out of that. So our first action, we moved through. Second, we picked up something, and we'll move in here. Third action is an attack. We get one orange die. We're in shadow. They still get the same amount of dice because we haven't killed anything. All right. So we're going to catch on fire and take a damage. Which we put in a rage. Got some fire. Got one defense. We've got three attacks. So we're doing two damage, which is going to kill one of them. Getting us an XP. So now the enemy's turns, they're gonna get two activations and hit us twice. We'll just go ahead and move these twice. All right, we're gonna have them target our Berserker. Now we get one defense die. They get a yellow die and one black die. Now well, before that, they're going to activate and take two damage from the poison, which will kill another one. And we'll give that XP over here. So now they're not attacking with that one. It's just their yellow against our blue. And we're fine. Second attack, same thing, attacking over here. And we're good. Leveling up, definitely not ready for that. And then move this, and nothing's going to happen. So next turn, we're going to start with the rogue. Getting three tokens. All right, we're going to start with an extra yellow die. We're in the shadow, and just the one blue defense. We get to draw another token. We're going to spend a mana to re-roll this die. Get a mana back. And then deal two damage. Next attack. And that's going to defeat giving us one XP plus two for the mob and plus two over here. Pick up some stone knuckles since we're in the same spot as him. We're just gonna hand that over to him and he can go ahead and equip it. Uh, no need to at the moment. And we also get a common treasure. And that's some studded leather armor. It's a little bit better than what we've got. And we'll go ahead and put that on. And 
Next action, we're going to take movement to open the door. Then we're going to take a attack action, ranged, with poison. So we get our yellow die, we're in shadow, and skeletons have one defense. Okay. I'm going to re-roll our shadow die. That's a little better. All right, we're going to take a damage from that. We're going to gain a mana back. We've got three damage going on that, so we're doing two damage, which is enough to kill one of them. Gives us an XP. Oops, we're up to five. Had that token in the wrong spot. And they are poisoned. All right, done there. Gata starts his activation, taking a fire. So roll a yellow die, and we're going to take one damage. First action, we're going to move. Second action, we're going to attack. An orange dies all we get. They are getting that. All right. So the hand isn't going to trigger anything. We're going to take a damage from that. And we're not dealing any damage. Then we're going to take an equip action. We get rid of our crude axe, bring in the stone knuckles, which is one handed, and then attach a shield. Got one that when we defend, we heal, which I think is going to be pretty awesome for us. All right, so that's it for us. Enemies. One, two. They're going to attack twice. Um, first attack. We are going to get two blue dice. They get two yellows, though. Defense, we're going to heal. All right, we're taking one damage. That's not going to do anything because we rolled well there. Second attack, same thing. Heal the damage. Oh, forgot. We're not going to take that one damage because one dies from the poison. We'll get that health back. And the XP over here. So just have the leader in there. And leader doesn't hurt us. All right, leveling up. We have six eight XP. We need five, so go down to one. We're second level. We're going to get an extra health. Grab a skill and put a rare treasure in our treasure bag. For my next skill, I'm going to take Tailored Swiftness. Gain this skill, we're going to gain these tokens. One is draw one token after this action. The other is plus two movement points. Darkness phase, we get a roaming monster up here. And I'm just using the base four. So we're getting the ghoul. So five health per player. If there's minion in a zone, kill a minion in that zone. The goal heals five. Otherwise, the goal moves three zones towards the closest hero and attacks them if possible. So sit that over there for now. Grab two treasure tokens for him. Rare and a common. And back to our turn. 
Gonna go with a rogue, mainly because attacking from shadow. So we get our three tokens. We are going to use draw a token after this action. And then we're attacking. Yellow, purple, and he's by himself, so just his defense die. And we're going to re-roll this one. And that's gonna defeat him. So we're gonna end up getting one for the kill and two more XP and he gets two XP. When he dies, he tosses us his Staff of Darkness and whatever common treasure this is. A Monk's Robe. Yeah, we'll just hold on to that. We're gonna get another token because of this ability. Which is better attacking. We're gonna go plus one movement point. So one, two, and three. We're gonna take a ranged attack into here. Going through this, so we're gonna lose a yellow die. Actually, no, I'm not. For movement, we're gonna go one, two, and open this door. Still have one more movement point left. We open the door. Spike trap room, add a spike trap token to the zone straddling the door inside this chamber if possible. So in here I've got all my terrain, so we'll just grab some spikes. We're gonna put it in there, but we're moving right in there and then we're gonna take one wound. But we're also going to spawn a mob in there along with get one treasure. Treasure is rare. And the mob are some fallen angels, two health each, two defense dice. Armed with precision bow. All right. All right, we're gonna take an attack action with an additional yellow die. We're in the shadows, they get two blue. And they just have attack abilities, so good to go. That's not so good. Go ahead and take the two damage. No, we're going to reroll one of those. And it got worse. Oh, we're taking two damage. We're going to grab another token from her bag. And do absolutely zero damage there. All right, so we don't die. We are going to spin that to heal two. Then take an attack action with poison. Same dice pool. Well, minus the one yellow. And other than poisoning, we're just taking a damage from that. Get to three mana, but we max at three. And we're poisoning those people. All right, that's her turn, which was not good. For a Berserker, we're gonna spin a Rage to move this over to Reckless. We're gonna spin a Rage to give us plus one movement point. So one, two, three. Let's 
Bend Rage to move this back. So we have two actions left, we're attacking. Get a yellow die from our Knuckles. Shadow. Two there and two here. All right, whole lot of blanks, which is good there. That takes care of that. We're doing two damage, which kills one of those. Grabs us an XP. Next attack, minus a black die or minion die. And that's going to do absolutely nothing. All right, that's our activations. Enemies are activating. I will bring the ghoul out that I forgot to bring earlier. He can't do anything except move three spaces. So one, two, and three into the here. These guys are moving two, one, two. These are activating. They're poison, so they're going to take two damage, which will kill one of those off. We'll give that XP down here. It's a melee attack, so they're just getting a yellow die, and that's it. No minions in there. We are getting two defense dice. So first attack, we're fine. Second attack, we're fine. Leveling up, uh, we get to level up over here. So get an extra health, add a rare into the treasure bag. We're gonna take Soothing. Level two, any stance, so we're gonna place that in a reckless spot. So anytime, spin one to heal two. And darkness advances, so it's going into add a rare token into the treasure bag. And back to our turn. We're going to go with our berserker. First attack with yellow. And in darkness, two defense dice is all they're getting. And we're doing two damage at three defense. Nothing happens. Hmm. Second attack. We get to heal, gain three uh, rage. And heal three. We're already, oh, got one more health. We can gain a mana, not doing anything, but we're not doing damage either. All right, next attack. Once again, no damage. That was not good at all. All right, Ranger's going. Or Rogue, sorry. Got a lot of movement points and poison. So we're gonna attack with the poison first. Same dice pool. We're going to end up doing one damage and poison it, which is going to kill it whenever it activates. I'm good with that. So that was our first action. Second action, we're going to give us plus two movement points. So we have four movement points. First one, we're going to get two common treasures. Rugged kilt and a loot. Put the kilt on, combat, we can spend a mana to reroll two black dice. Action, or movement point one. Two to move in there. Three to pick up a rare treasure. Which is a Gleaming Helm, Shadowbane set. In the light, when we attack, spend two mana after combat, heal equal to wounds dealt. We are going to pass that over to our Berserker. And then our fourth and final movement point, activate this, which gets us three XP, it's up to eight. All right. 
We are going to do a move action plus one movement. Open the door for one. Two and three. And that's it for a turn. So enemies are going to activate one, two. These activate, they're poisoned, so they just die. We're going to get XP for the model and then two more. And then he's activating, he sees this thing right behind us. Oh yeah, I forgot when I moved out of that spot, I would have taken a damage. So before this thing activates, we're gonna use our health potion to gain three health. That wasn't my best decision. Um, yeah, when the fallen angels died, And the token was on them, common. A monk's robe. Their armor is still a little bit better. And we got a precision bow, which is a little bit better than what we've got. All right, now catching up with everything we've I've done. He's moving in there. Um, one orange and one black. And we get two blues. Let's see, combat, move the closest mob one zone towards the ghoul. So they're gonna move, oh, that's not good. There. Got two defense, taking one damage from that attack. So that's the enemies leveling up. We've got 10 XP, so we'll spend that to go to level three. Add an epic treasure in the bag and we get another mana. We are gonna upgrade to deadly mixture two. So when we gain this skill, gain two more poison tokens. Then we can remove any Two other tokens. Poison enemies take four wounds at the start of their activation. All right, we are going to get rid of a reroll and a movement. And then move up here, spawning mob over there. Uh, we're now on the third level, so that's not good. So our level three mob. Or some harpies are back. And they are carrying The Devil's Sword. We'll start over here. Getting three tokens. One, two, and three. Three poisons. We are going to take a move action with that. Taking a damage for moving out. Moving to... Second action, we're going to take an attack on there. We're in the shadows. Our first range attack gets plus one yellow. And defense of two blue and a black. It's going to let us get an extra token. That's empty, put all these back in. Let's do movement points. Move the closest mob one zone closer to the ghoul. They're equidistant, so we'll just move these over. 
and poison the ghoul. Then I'm going to shoot again. Can't double poison. All right, we get another token though. We're going to take a damage from that. We're not going to hurt. We're going to spin one to reroll this one though. All right, so we're taking the damage. Get another token. And we're going to heal two and heal two. Uh, we've got a big mess to deal with here. All right, our Berserker is gonna go into a rage. It's at max health, fortunately. Those things have a lot of health. But no defense. All right, see what we can do. They have no defense abilities. Except that, auto does the damage to us. We're dealing four damage, which is enough to kill one of them. So second attack. Um, we're gonna get a mana and deal one damage. When we attack, we ignore one. My bad. So dealing one damage there. Then make a third and final attack. Gain three rage and heal three, but we're at max health. We get to ignore that and dealing one more damage. Three rage, we're at max seven there. We're at our max health. All right, we're all done. Enemies are gonna activate. We'll have the undead go first. They are getting one yellow die, one black die. We get two defense when they attack. Hands, I get plus one yellow and they take two wounds. If you look at the least, and this, if you took at least one wound in this attack, deal one wound to the defender. Oh, that's a nasty combo. All right, got a hand. So it's gonna get another yellow die and take two wounds. The two wounds is enough to kill this off. We're just gonna give that XP over here. Um, we're taking a damage from this. We're blocking all that. Took at least one wound in this attack. Deal a wound to the defender. And then we've got the defense. We're gonna heal the, one of those back. Then we're gonna spend a rage to deal a wound to the attacker. All right, second attack. Nothing happens. We're gonna move the harpies in here. So movement of one. Attacking once. So you need a token on them. They get two yellows. We get that. And two of those. Got a hand, 
We're getting absolutely nothing from that. So we're taking two damage. Then we're going to heal one. After combat, if the defending hero took at least one wound, place a miniature on the Harpy's card. Heroes on this card must spend an action to be placed back in the Harpy's zone. So he just got picked up, which is bad here because that means this thing is charging there. I was hoping to have him run in that spot. So he's poisoned, so he's going to take four damage. I think that's where I'm at. Yes. So one, two. Orange and a black. We get two defense. And that's going to move the closest mob one more closer to here. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We are going to choose the harpies to move a little bit closer. And we take no damage. All right, XP. Got one over here. We have five over here. So done there. Move this up. We get an epic treasure in the bag. And I'm not feeling the best about this fight. We gonna go with the rogue first. See what tokens we get. We've got draw a token after this action, a poison, and reroll two dice. We're gonna draw a token after this action. So move, take a damage. Oh, that poison token's still on there. Doesn't go away until he's defeated. We are going to draw into plus one movement point. Spin that to attack. It's our first range attack. We get two yellows. We're in the shadow. And the defense dice. That's looking good. Oops. That takes care of that. We are going to spend one to reroll our shadow die. Get one back and do three damage. Then attack again. Not nearly as good. We're going to spend to reroll this. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to let that trigger. We're going to get an extra token. We're going to take a damage. Trigger that to move the closest mob one zone towards us, which will bring these out. And we did no damage. All right, now we're going to attack with plus one yellow die. Still on this. Awesome. We're going to get another token. Defense there, doing two damage, which is one away from killing it. Actually, that was silly. It's still poisoned. We should have attacked up there, but I didn't. That was a bad play on my part. So let the poison kill it. We're going to take an attack action up here on the harpies. So we are one yellow... Three defense, that's crazy. And I have no defense triggers from that. 
We are going to spin one to re-roll this. No, that's not going to matter. We'll re-roll this one. Get us another token. That's going to get us that. Going to move up to two, then attack. Into the harpies. Same bad dice pool. Good grief, five defense. Reroll. Get that back. Shoot into the harpies. That went better. We're actually dealing two damage to him. Which almost kills one. And we're finally done. All right, first action, jump off. Second action, attacking. Yellow, we're in the shadows. And they get all that stuff. That didn't go well for us. Uh, I forgot to spin this last round on there, making a few mistakes. So we're taking two damage. Well, we prevent one, so we take one. And we're going to deal one damage, which takes care of one harpy. Get us an XP. Attack again with one less minion die. Four defense. We get to ignore that. And nothing. All right, enemies are going to activate. I'm going to have him go first. Echo distance are going in here. And attacking, oh, that's right, the poison's going to kill him. So we're getting a rare copper and another rare, giving that to our rogue. Common is a bone crusher. Two rares is we've got some armor and some elven vest. Melee defense. Um, we'll swap that out. Got us five XP and four on this side. Now the harpies go next. Two yellows and a black, and we get two defense, and we get to heal. We get to ignore, oh, well, that's only when we attack. We're not taking damage from that, but we are taking damage from that. So we took a wound, and they're on their card. And I'm just assuming they can still attack something they're carrying. So second action. If not, they would just move a spot closer. But I'm saying they can still attack in there. And we're going to be fine. All right, this guy is going to move. Then we will move this up which is going to spawn another mob. We are not keeping up with the status quo. Got some demons coming out. And they've got a feather spear. Uh, before they come out, though, we are leveling up. We are third level. Gets us an extra mana. 
Oh, I keep forgetting. We're spinning our age. We took a wound. We're dealing two wounds, which will not kill the harpy, but at least it gets two damage on that group. For our third level, we're going to upgrade this. So now I'll spin one after combat. If you took at least one wound, deal four. All right, we leveled up. We already spawned, so our next turn. We're gonna go ahead and start with him, taking an action to come back down, attacking. We're going after the undead. We're in shadows. Gets a yellow die. And the undead gets no defense, and they have no little people to help. And we did four damage. We get a mana back. Killed him off. Gets us three XP and two over here. We get a common and the prime evil club. Took at least one wound in this attack, deal a wound to the defender. We're going to keep... That's more dice, but this healing's been nice. And our common. A wooden shield. All right, final activation. It's gonna be a little bit different. I get three and one black. That went well for us, we get to ignore that. We're dealing two damage, which is enough to kill one of them. We'll keep one on the others. So another XP. So he's doing onto a rogue. I'm gonna take an attack over there. It's our first ranged. Uh, see what our tokens are. We've got two in there. We've got a poison. Well, when he did level up, it did put the epic in the bag. All right, extra movement point. All right, we're going to shoot a poison over here. Oh, we get another token. And I really don't care about dealing damage because the poison is going to be enough. So we get another token. Going to use that with a movement of point of one. So open the door for one. Hell's Army, spawn a mob on each portal. Bad. Place an additional treasure token from the treasure bag on each mob spawn this way. Remove all from this chamber. Okay. The next mob are Fallen Angels are coming back. And they have got the Wand of the Dead, oddly enough. Lots of winged creatures coming in. And they are getting two tokens on them. All right, so we have two more movement points left. So one, two. Oh, we get to see what this is. Common. With our last movement point, we're going to trade in three common treasures to get a rare. Berserker Sword. It'd be nice to get on him, but it is two-handed. All right, next action. Two movement points. One, two. Which gets us three XP. Opens the door. We do this, fire chamber, the active hero, and all mobs spawned in this chamber take 
a fire. It's going to be one mob. And that is some living statues. I'll have them over here. And they've got a skull scythe and a fire token. So many minis on the board. All right, next action, movement. We'll open the door. And move outside. All right, enemy phase. These guys are poison and dies. So that was the harpies. So the devil's sword. The poison was in effect here. So I think I have to choose this spot. And we get a rare for some divine gauntlets. I've been way better to give over here. All right, movement of two. All right, a lot of things in there. Leveling up, we don't have 12, and we don't have 12. This moves over, epic token in the treasure. And back to our turn. I'm gonna start here, so start of activation. See if the fire got us for two. That's a problem. See what these are gonna be. We are going to retreat. One, two, three. One, two, and do a trade action. We're gonna give the divine gauntlets over here. We now have a set of two. With that, Minor power, uh, the Berserker can equip one two-handed weapon as a one-handed weapon. Which is going to be the Berserker Sword. We're also going to upgrade his armor. Let's see, what else does he have? Nothing great to hand back. Except this, we'll hand that over here and go ahead and heal three. All right, that's his turn. Then over here, if I get in there, things aren't gonna look well. Where's my health at? Gonna move and then heal two. And next action, do nothing. So enemies, these all jump in. These move down. Leveling up. Uh, nothing happens. Getting a big monster. Uh oh. Well, the living statues would have taken some damage there. We'll see what that is before that pops out. Living statues took nothing. Over here, we're seeing the Incubus Lord, 10 health per player. Let's see if he's in the light zone. He takes five wounds and moves to the closest shadow zone. The hero in the zone, three zones away, regardless of line of sight, place him in the zone with the furthest hero. Up to three zones away, add a fire token to that hero and attack them. And an epic in common. 
And things are looking dire. All right, back to our turn. Well, I guess see if we can push through all this stuff. We'll start with a Berserker. It's at least in the shadow. It's getting two yellows and an orange. Because of that, we're getting a yellow because of this. Going after the demons first. So two black, two blue. They do have a combat ability. Attacking or defending hero def discards a mana on the hand symbol. Okay. So we get to ignore. No, we don't. We got rid of that. So we're losing two mana and taking a damage. They've got two defense. Let's get soaks up to there. We're going up to our max mana, which is three. And we're dealing five damage, which will kill one demon and put one damage there. Getting an XP. Attack the same group again. Lose a mana. Gain two mana or one. Deal six damage. which will defeat the rest. And we're gonna get four XP and two on this side. Um, we've got a Wand of the Dead, a rare and an epic treasure. Oh, the rare is a dragon sword. Epic, I haven't shuffled yet. Dragon Mask. All right, third action. Going after the, some angels. Oops. Uh, did the wrong thing there. The demons are on this side. We'll see what they have. Rare. And that. So we did not get these two things. Well, we will get the rare. This goes back on top. And we need to take a wound to deal the extra wound, which would have killed them both. All right, I think we're back on track now. All right, now attacking over there. They've got three defense. Final action. Black dice are empty. Got three defense, which we take care of with those dice. Dealing one damage. That was over there. All right, he's done. We're gonna spend one to move this over here. Spend another one to heal two. And then spend another one to move this back. Now he's officially done. Move on to a rogue. And... Take a movement and get a token after this. One, two.
And we got three poisons. We're going to take a movement. Then we're going to attack in here with the poison. It's our first ranged attack. They get two defense. Okay. Yikes. We're taking a damage from that. Defense blank results is going to equal one, which doesn't matter. We weren't going through anyway. The main thing is they got poisoned. Final attack, we're going to shoot up there on the incubus with the poison. It gets two defense. Minion die. And we'll take a damage. And Ender Turn. All right, enemies are going to attack. Angels are getting two attacks against our Berserker. They are not poisoned. They're getting two yellows and two blacks, and we get four blues. So we will take one damage. Let's see their hand. Ooh, defender gets minus two defense. We're taking more than one then. So we're going to end up taking three damage. We defended, we're going to heal one. Defense after combat, if you took at least one wound, deal four wounds to one of them. Which will kill one and add another one on there. Then defense, deal wound to the attacker which will kill the other one off. So we're getting two XP out of that, up to 11. Then the angel's attacking again, this time with no minion dice. And we're gonna be fine. All right, statues have options. We're gonna put them in here. I get an orange and a yellow. Two minion dice. Well, they take four damage because they're poison, which is going to kill one of them off. Getting an XP over here. So there were minus one of those dice. That symbol does nothing. We're blocking four, they had four coming our way. We're fine there. All right, now the big guy, he's taking four damage. He's not in the light. There's a hero in up to three zones away, regardless, place him in that zone. The furthest hero up to three away, add a fire token to that hero and attack them. So we got him in the light. He's spreading a little fire on us and attacking with two orange and a black. Our defense, yikes, we're in trouble. It is melee, so we get plus two to start with. All right, but that's not gonna be enough. All right, we're down. That does get rid of condition tokens. 
So enemies have activated, we can level up. We can still level up when we're knocked down. So 12 XP, go down to one. Get an epic token. We're gaining a health, which I don't think is gonna matter. Level four skill. We are going to upgrade our swiftness, gaining these two tokens and then removing any other two. And let's see, I'm gonna get rid of this one and a movement point. He's one shy from leveling up. I don't remember if I held him one. Oh well. So this advances. So you can see how that goes. Every other turn we're getting mobs or roaming monsters. Back to our turn. Start of our turn, we get rid of our one Lightbringer token. Now we can always reroll a black die. We stand up. So the hero stands up with three health. So if we don't gain three, we just go to three. So that one we gained didn't really help us. All right, get our three tokens. We will start there. One, two, three. We we're going to take an action and draw a token after this action. An action is going to be to leave this space. One, two. We're going to take a damage for leaving a spot with a mini. And gain another token. Then we're going to use this and heal two. Then we're going to attack with plus one orange die. It's our first range attack, so it gets two yellow, orange. We are in shadow. For defense, two blue and a black. Three defense there. Going to use our free reroll on this. All right, didn't change anything. We're taking a damage. That symbol is only when they're attacking. So we're doing two damage. All right, then we're gonna shoot again. That doesn't do anything. We are going to re-roll this with that ability. Then we're gonna use that, spending a mana to re-roll the dub defense. And that didn't change, so those cancel out. We get a mana back and deal four damage. So halfway dead. Actually, no, we're not doing four damage. Shouldn't have rolled that die. These were all good. We just did one damage instead of four. Down to seven. All right, that's gonna end our rogue's turn. Our fighter, all by himself in this big mess and that in between. Let's see. We have three wounds on us. So that means we're gonna get two orange and two yellow. We're in shadow. Get another yellow for that. We're fighting the, you know what, we're gonna go after yeah, the Fallen Angel still, three defense. Just the one in there. Um, we get to heal three and gain three here.
Got four defense. That takes care of all that. We get our max damage back and the angels go down. So we get three XP, one, two, three, and two over here. Second action, attacking the statues. Actually, no, we're not gonna attack them. We're gonna spin a rage to move this token over. We're gonna spin a rage to give us plus one movement point. So one, two, and three. We left here, took two damage. We left here, took one. So we took three damage. We're gonna spin a rage to heal two. Third action, move into this spot. We're gonna level up. Gain a health. And epic token. Gonna to upgrade soothing so it's a little bit better. Actually, before we level up, everything activates. So they move two. But they are poisoned, so one dies, which gets an XP over here. This thing's poisoned. They take four damage. Its activation, Lydian takes five wounds and moves to the closest shadow zone, which will be here. Then we level up and this moves and another mob comes out up there which is gonna be some dark pixies with a ritual skull. I'm not gonna put the models out because on our turn, we are getting out of here. So that got us out of the highway to the hellscape. Uh, so I'm sure made a few minor mistakes in there, but I think got the most of the rules right. A lot of things to track, but uh, Able to get through there with the Berserker and the Rogue. Did get definitely a little scary in there, but running out of it is definitely the way to go for him, taking a couple damage. Nice healing on him. So as always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.